Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Swain. I'm uh, going to be retrying this deck. We played it um, about two weeks ago and it was a lot of fun. Basically the whole part, like the main thing about our deck is being a Neverglade collector deck. That whenever our allies die, we drain one from the enemy nexus. And we're going to have a whole lot of spiders to have die each time we're draining one. And that drain does count as damage for Swain. So for Swain's level up of doing 12 non-combat damage, all we really need is Neverglade Collector out there draining, and that levels up Swain. We got one Maokai in here, too, to be able to get some saplings, to be able to do some challenging and some interaction with that. Um, and then also with all of our stuff dying, um, we can level up Maokai with just so many things dying as well. Uh, let's see, and then of course we got all of our spiders, and Elise making spiders. Um... And that's kind of about the whole deck. You know, like, we're putting in a third Leviathan. Last time we only played two. Won a third one of these because it's just such a great finisher. And uh, that's why we really only need, like, two Swains because it's not something that we need early necessarily. And Leviathans help us draw the Swains anyway. All right, so let's let's give this a try. So we're going to have Spider Swain. We're going to head on over to rank, play five games over there, see how we do. Hoping for 3-2 or better. We got a 3-2 there with Zedjuani Elusives. We're going to be trying a brand new version of Yasuo up next with Yasuo Zed. Uh, going to be trying some new things with that. Um, and then Hecarim Harrowing after that. <laughs> and the dogs are just chilling. Oh, haven't seen Karma Ezreal in a while. We can hopefully swarm them, but I guess that's our really our plan against everybody, I suppose. So Culling Strike is great against Ezreal. Glimpse Beyond is great against Removal. So I, I want to keep the Glimpse Beyond, but we don't have any threats. But I guess the thing is, is our whole deck is threats, so it shouldn't be that hard for us to draw threats if we keep these two spells. We're gonna do that. Um, could wait until turn. Okay, we have another Elise, so we'll play this Elise now because you know we have the backup Elise, so they can they can kill this one with a thermogenic beam when we got the backup. Ooh, no thermogenic beam. That's nice. Let's go. Ooh, that's pretty big. Hmm. Their hand must not be the best. The best. The best. Cool, we get to go attack again. I will go attack again, thank you. Alright, just a second. Moving the camera a little bit. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to glimpse beyond... Uh... Hmm. I kind of want to keep them from getting the 3-2s, the but I guess... Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to keep them from getting the 3-2s. I could glimpse beyond one, I could noction fervor the other, do three to them, and then I can still play another a new Elise. I don't have three things to go with Elise though. Maybe I just glimpse beyond the Elise and play a new Elise. And they get one three two. Oh, I guess I would I'd be able to play a precious bet too. Nothing 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with their hands. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that hand. That was kind of wild, wasn't it? Um, Trika looks okay. Uh. Yeah, Treak looks fine. Um, is that how you pronounce the, the card? The new card? The Tariq? Or is it like Tarek? What are we playing again? Sejuani Twisted Fate. Huh. Calling Strike's gone. Uh, I guess we'll have Vile Feast gone and Ravenous Flock gone. We'll just we'll look at all those. Rick. Okay, so it's Tarik. Tarik. Like a Rick that tears stuff? <laughs> what? I don't know what that means. A Rick that tears stuff. We see through all. Spitter out from the darkness. You must not ruffle our feathers. So, Tarek. Everybody agree that? Tarek. Pronunciation guides. No, not that one. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Tarek? That one? Tarek? That one, okay. So Tar. A tribute to the Spider God. All right, trade two for two, but they get they get the extra sea monster. So like pavement, Rick, tar Rick, tar on pavement. Uh... I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Oh, is it tear? Oh, a Rick that tears stuff. Okay, now I understand. So tear Rick. That's what you're saying. A Rick that tears stuff. That's what you're saying. So wait, is it? So is it tear Rick? All right, but anyway, um, I think it's, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like it's pretty similar to Shen. But, you yeah, know, maybe like more powerful of an ability, but less stats, but more powerful of an ability. Yes, it and it has has more of a setup, more of a requirement. Like you need to have you need to have good quality spells with Tarek. If you like if you have no spells, it's doing less. So support decks you usually want to play a whole lot of units because you want to make sure that you have units to support. And so you're so you're incentivized to play a lot of units, but now you gotta have spells to go along with, with Tarek, and so it's Kind of asking, um, kind of asking a lot. In a spit 
delicious season. So I definitely want that thing dead. Starless here is pretty awesome. Stealing my stuff. Stop. That egg. Did it move? Hmm. It's a great card to steal. Great blocker. We gotta use this glimpse beyond. Draw some cards. Friends. You made choices. This could trade with a uh, hapless aristocrat, but I'd rather just draw two. I like these trades here. But with, you know, all these cards generating value for them, Jaw Hunters and Yordle Grifter and everything like that, uh, we need... We're gonna need some more cards. Alright, Swain's leveled up. Next turn is going to be turn 7. I'm not going to play this precious pet. So the next turn I can play Swain and have Noxion Fervor. Because that will be the 8 mana with like that 1 extra spell mana. Taking three damage isn't really a big deal with life gain from Collector. It's more about plunder. As far as, you know, maybe using Fervor to kill that thing. Hmm. Kind of wish I would have used Fervor to kill that thing, because then they wouldn't have anything to block. You know, then, then this thing would have been just a 2-2. Two -two. As far as Fearsome goes. Oh, I don't have enough room. This works. It'd be safer to do it on Elise. No, they hit. I was pretty lucky. I was going after them because it would stun two things. Uh, but I needed. I couldn't just do it on like Maokai because I needed to um, needed to clear a space for the two one. You know, we're just replacing a 3-1 with a 2-1. Man, that was a lucky hit. Hmm. We could use a bite. Oh, we don't really need to attack with that. 
you can't do this. Here some are pretty nice. So young. What's that noise? Cool. They took two hapless aristocrats from me. That's not a card I want to draw anyway. We want, of course, to draw. Um. Of course, we want to draw uh, Leviathan. Good chance they have Riptide Rex. Uh, they are at three and I have this Neverglade Collector, so they gotta kill Neverglade Collector. Card steal. They're looking. They're looking for one of my removal spells for Collector, and obviously we just hope they don't find it. Oh, Looks like maybe they found it. This to your bill. Yeah, they have Culling Strike and Noxion Fervor, both cards in my deck they could find, or Ravenous Flock. Uh, they found it. Probably game now. Just need one more point. Should not have noxion fervored the three one. I guess I really should have. I really should have just noxion fervored the. Um, I really should have just noxion fervored Elise. That was much safer. Like they're only because they, you know, Mega Rain was they only had two mana. Mega Rain was the only card they could have, or like my Vile Feast. You are not wanted here. So close. So many lost. I mean that that's just ha that's just what happens when you draw millions of cards. You're you're gonna find what you need, and that's what card draw can do for you. They just drew millions of cards, and they found the one they needed with uh, Ravenous Lock because you know, they drew some bad ones, like drawing the hapless aristocrats. Those aren't any good. So it's not like they didn't draw bad cards also, but just having that much card draw. This makes Bilgewater pretty good right now. Um, I made a couple couple of plays I probably could have done differently. So I do like Precious Pet a lot, except for against Make It Rain. Besides against Make It Rain, it is really good at doing damage to them. Cause they, this kind of deck does doesn't really have things that block fearsome very well. But maybe I don't keep two because of Mega Rain. Uh, this isn't. Yeah, this isn't like the all-in deck with like Star only Starlet's here and Fizz. At least I wouldn't think so. Come on. I had a really clutch elixir of iron last game too with Jaw Hunters on elixir of iron.
No, I've never played D and D before. I always thought that'd be cool to play, but I just know I've never done it before. Best not ruffle our feathers. That is a waste of a brittle steel. This would be a good winter. That is not a good brittle steel. I will trade Spiderling for Brittle Steel all day. Blessed by snow and stars. Ah, an auspicious season. I'm always up for a round or two. Mm. Try to kill Starlet Seer with the Noxion Fervor. I needed you last game, Leviathan. Yeah, I don't know how I'm beating 6-6 six, six, Twisted Fate. Blessed by snow and stars. Ah, an auspicious season. If only they didn't have that elixir of iron. Seer is busted. I can't complain. I mean, I love playing Starlet Seer, Bilgewater decks. I'd play those a lot. But just on the other end of them with our little spiders that can't do anything about it. I tried to kill the Starless here, I tried, but they had the Elixir of Iron on turn 2 to protect it. Our last Karma Azrael player didn't have Thermogenic Beam and really didn't have anything. I liked that a lot more. One, shoot Ezreal. We'll draw two with the other one. Unfortunately, they still get to draw a card. I think that if you kill both of your things, they shouldn't be able to draw a card. But unfortunately, they'll still get the card draw. They won't get any targets for towards leveling up Ezreal, though. Swain. 
So do we want to go straight to combat, or do we want to play three things first? Uh, they can't play Yone, so I want to play three things first. We're going to do that. Nothing to fear. They can have, you know, Concussive Palm, but uh, they'd be doing that during combat anyway. So, like, my Swain wasn't going to hit them anyway. But now, I do have a Rachnoid Sentry that can stun that. Yeah. I think attack with everything except Elise. But then we level up Elise. There, that's going to give them a draggling next turn. Or do we let them kill Elise? So let's see. If I attack with everything, they block with Elise. The 1-3 has to block like the 2-2 two -two so it doesn't die. Like Let's say it does that. Then they take... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. They take seven, go down to ten. Kind of think that's okay. Hush yeah. Now. If we want to just get the most damage we can on them. Your attack is obvious. Ready yourself. Now my Vile Feast will be able to kill the Eye of the Dragon. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. No, yeah, my Hawktie bot won't have the, the new cards. things. I wonder if I don't have a good attack next turn. Wow, what? They didn't get... Why did they just cast this Mushroom Cloud and get a 2-1? Uh, excuse you! Your lesson begins. Surprised they didn't do that. Yeah, then that Deep Meditation would only cost 3 mana instead of 5. That wasn't the card they drew. They had that previously. Glad they used that thermogenic beam. So they've used two thermogenic beams. As far as getting rid of this, they could still have like Will of Ionia to bounce it, or the third thermogenic beam. Ooh, drawing another Leviathan is nice. 
Because, yeah, we just want Leviathan to keep doing its job of three damage a turn. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, I guess we'll play Swain and Sentry. Just going to stun that thing, keep it from attacking. We'll just play that and Swain, I suppose, and not Leviathan this turn. Leviathan is really good. And basically the uptick in Leviathan and cards like that is why I think that just like Will of Ionia is really well positioned these days. You know, you spend eight mana on a Leviathan, you just put it back in their hand. Best way to beat it. And that's what our Yasuo Zed deck's gonna be all about next game. We're playing three next video. We're going to be playing three Mina Swiftfoot. And just going all out with those. So let's see. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Hmm. Oh, right. I don't have another swing to grab. Because we only got the two in the deck. Right. We don't have another swing. Uh, no, yeah, I wasn't really aware of Noob Loco, but not, not too interested. Of course, you can just pass priority, because if they pass priority, then we win. They don't know what they're up against. We're going under. Killing Swain isn't a big deal. I don't really mind if they kill Swain here. I just want to get try to get three. Da I want Leviathan to stay alive and get three damage across, and then have Leviathan Excuse be able to finish you. the game. I, like that's what I hopefully want to happen. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. You're between me and glory. So 
Block is worrisome because of Karma. They can kill, they can do six damage to Leviathan with only the three mana. Ooh, they don't have it though. All right. You don't see that very often, the opponent untapping with leveled up Karma and uh, and Ezreal out with all their mana and, you know, dying and, you know, especially with like one mana rummage and then, you know, two mana gotcha and stuff like that. But Leviathan was able to finish that game out. As it feels good for sure. So we're 2 over versus Karma Ezreal, 0 2 against other decks. Let's face Karma Ezreal. Darn. <laughs> Okay. What if we should just keep Leviathan? Maybe I should. We'll see. Maybe I should. Do like these precious pets good to use get some early damage in i don't really like the these three cards that we just drew block fervor fervor it's pretty gross can we find our own elise Pretty gross. I guess I shouldn't have kept Leviathan, because we we're having some poor turns. Not a bad card. You dare. All right, that was just a bad attack. I guess I should have kept the three two back for Elise, but now, especially with another Callista. Definitely should have kept it back. That was a bad attack. I just had my 2-1 block the 3-2. That was a bad attack. Especially with having Neverglade Collector. Yeah, I wish I could take that attack back. I was hoping this was going to be Bark Beast here on this one. That's what I was hoping, that they would use Bark Beast. I 
I guess because of Fury of the North, I have to wait. I wanted to Ravenous Flock this thing first, but because of Fury of the North, I have to wait and see if I need to flock the 4-3 after combat. Oh. Wah, wah. Yeah, you got me. We must all make sacrifices. Yeah, honestly, the Apirian probably isn't that bad, is it? Seven mana, six five elusive. Might not be bad. This is all because of that bad attack. That bad attack really sent me back. For sure. You own what you take. Don't think I can make it out of here. Good hand for the opponent. They drew tons of champions. Yeah, the multiple Callistas. And everything. Destination in sight! really wish I didn't make that attack on turn four, but, um, you know, the, the Leviathan was awesome the game before. I kept it in my opening hand and got pretty punished for keeping it because then we just drew, you know, <clears throat> with the rest of our mulligan, we drew Noxion Fervor, Noxion Fervor, Ravenous Flock, and I just didn't have anything to do on turn three, turn four. Um, you know, like I had a Precious Pet on turn one, a Precious Pet on turn two, and then I didn't have another thing to play until Neverglade Collector, right? No, 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 I did draw the... Turn 4, I guess I did draw the Skitter. Um, but yeah, it was... That was pretty rough while they were curving out and and uh, playing Elise, Callista, Callista. That's where I lost that game was turn 2, turn 3, turn 4. Alright, but anyway... Um, that Spider Swain... Uh, you know, try to get more units than I did... Try to mulligan your spells more. We have 26 units, 14 spells, but it seemed like I was just always full of spells all the time. Let's try to mulligan those more and try to curve out a little better. All right, but that's it here for Spider Swain. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.